What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Big Country Customs coming back at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about maintaining your cast iron tops or any kind of metal really in your shop. Um, some people may get some rust on there like I do. This accumulated. I don't know if you can even see it. There's some rust on there, some water spots or somebody put a drink. Wasn't me. Maybe it was. Who knows? Anyways, we're going to go through and I'm going to show you guys how to you know, a simple, super simple way to get all the rust off and all the mess ups on your cast iron. So uh, let's get to the video. Guys, I've already recorded this video. I'm sitting on my couch. I had to throw this in there because I forgot to mention the thousand subscriber wooden American flag giveaway. So hit that sub button if you want a chance to win. As soon as we hit a thousand, I'll announce a winner and I'll be building it however they want and I'll be shipping it out the door. Back to the video. All right, so the reason behind this video is I got some little spot showing on my table saw here from over, over time uh there and then also you might be able to see it here in the light you see all that surface rust on my joiner when i bought this thing it was completely covered in rust and i used this method to kind of restore it I got a drink spot here uh, i have it on my band saw too but i don't use this nearly as much so i'm not going to worry about that today so let me show you what we're going to be using this is all you need you need some uh brillo pads the green ones orbital sander doesn't matter the brand and some paste wax that's it let me show you how it's done okay so for this project i like to take a screwdriver get a get a thick flathead kind of just put some paste wax out on your table Okay. Careful not to get this on a concrete floor if you got it, because let me tell you, it will make you fall. It's crazy. I almost busted my butt a few times. So I'm going to use this Brillo pad first, kind of just spread this stuff around because I don't want big chunks flying off and getting on my concrete floor, because it will. And this kind of just acts as like a well, it's a protectant, but it's also like a lubricant. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Okay, so I got this section all done. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep the dirty side down, right? And then you, when you don't have any sandpaper on your orbital, it sticks right to it. So then you put it in whatever setting, we're gonna run a little high. And we'll see what we'll see what she does. Keep your eye on this spot right here. spots virtually gone and you can see that the tabletop is really really shaping up and looking good um, this thing will get kind of caked but that's okay because it's wax and you don't want it to mar your table up so you got to have that wax on there this thing will eventually disintegrate the brillo pad so make sure you get a couple packs if you have a few pieces of equipment to do and uh, yeah let's keep going
All right, so that's my table saw. Pretty, pretty good. I mean, so the story behind this table saw, it was bought brand new. Um, it was put in a garage and it stayed there for, I think, five years. So it never was turned on or used. I, was, I came across it and I was able to get it. And so it, it has some spots in it that won't come out from that time, like a little bit of pitting. This right here, I don't know what it is. I was able to scrape it off with a razor blade for the most part, but I can't feel it at all. So I guess there's something down in like the metal pores, maybe paint or something spilt on it. I don't remember, um, but for the most part, looks really good, smoothed everything up. So now all you gotta do, oh, and you can see, let me see how nasty this stuff is that's coming off. The black here is not, you know, it's not black paste wax. It turns black with all the nasty crap that it's able to get off. So what I'm gonna do now is go over to the joiner and do that one because then you'll actually be able to see it take the rust off. After I'm done sanding everything with a Brillo pad, I'll come back, I'll wipe it clean and then put a coat of paste wax on it how the directions say to use it. And that'll keep your equipment, it'll keep it from rusting and stuff like that. It'll keep all that moisture and uh, it'll let things slide on it super easy when you're pushing them through the table saw or across the joiner. Um, it'll be smooth as butter. So I'm also gonna put paste wax down in here to help my, my cross cut sled on the sides. Don't touch the bottom. I'll put it on the sides and uh, get to it. Let me see if I, I saw a little bit of this nasty crud. Yeah, look at this. Nasty crud that it pulled off the top of that saw. Is it focused? There it is, look at that. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying so far. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you wanna support me, hey, smash that sub button. I'd really appreciate it. Let me uh, let me get to doing the old joiner over there. I'm gonna show you guys up close it getting this water spot off right here that you can clearly see. Let me grab my face wax. And just for this little area, just to show you, put a little down. By the way, this Dewalt XR brushless orbital is a beast. The battery is a little heavy. I am using a six amp hour just because I'm gonna be, you know, I knew I was gonna be running it a long time. But that right there took probably, table saw probably took 10, 15 minutes and I still got a full charge so it's worth it. Let me get this little ring off. I just want to show you guys real quick, uh, this Brillo pad, when it starts falling apart, it's not as strong. And when you pull it off of your sander, it will leave, it will leave a lot of green stuff. You might, you know, you can pick it out, you can not pick it out. It doesn't affect sanding at all. Um, but yeah, this is pretty gross. I'm uh, here's the two that I used right here. I did uh, halfway through the table saw, get a new one. Uh, this one was 
really falling apart and coming through the back you can see actually where the sander was sitting so make sure you grab a pack of them i know when i initially bought this remember i said it was a rust bucket and as you can see there's some pitting and stuff in there that just will not come off um good grief it took me uh probably two packs six brillo pads to do both that and my table saw let me grab a pay towel here i'll show you something if i don't drop the phone all right sorry about that all right let me just wipe this clean look at that nastiness that's why you got to make sure you go back through you wipe it down you could probably even use mineral spirits i don't know i'm probably not gonna uh, never have i don't want to you know drop it on my paint or anything but you just wipe it all off and then go through the paste wax instructions on and wax your equipment because clean Not clean. Just want to get all that off. So, got on my paint here a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. Anyways, I'm gonna get to waxing this. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope this video helped you out. My buddy, when he gave me this tip, good grief, it was a lifesaver because I did not know what to do. I had all this rusted equipment and I didn't want to sit there and hand scrub it. So don't be scared to use that orbital, folks. Till next time, Big Country out.